Gaming on Linux has had a rough road in the past, since not all that many game developers used to create custom-made ports of their games. But thanks to the open source community and of course Valve, compatibility layers like Proton have emerged and you're no longer bound to use Windows for gaming anymore. With some caveats that is. But while gaming on Linux has essentially become plug and play once you activate Proton, not every game is on Steam and most game publishers tend to use their own proprietary game launchers which are not yet compatible with Linux. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install those launchers and keep playing your favorite games with an application called Bottles. Oh, and it also works on the Steam Deck. So let's start off with what even is Bottles? Bottles is an application that similar to Proton allows you to run Windows software on Linux by utilizing translation tools like Wine. However, in contrast to just installing Wine on your system and installing apps like you would on Windows, Bottles more easily allows you to create several isolated environments, which can hold different optimizations depending on if you want to run an application, play games or whatever else. Let me show you how it works by installing Ubisoft's game launcher Ubisoft Connect. Now, since I personally have several hard drives, I don't want my gaming data created on my main one, so I'm gonna change the path to where new bottles are being created. But this step is entirely optional. Let's start off with creating a new Windows environment by clicking on Create New Bottle. Let's name it Ubisoft Connect and choose the gaming preset below, as we of course want to play games. Once the bottle is created, all we have to do is to click on Install Programs and select Ubisoft Connect from the list of available applications. And we can start using Ubisoft Connect right away, like we would on Windows. Bottles also allows you to quickly install Battle.net, the new EA Games Launcher or Epic Game Store. You can either install them in the same bottle or separate them by creating new ones. This is very useful if you want to get rid of cached data files after deinstalling a launcher. Ok ok ok. But what about applications that are not available in the applications list? You know, like the Rockstar Games Launcher. Well, all you have to do is to download the Setup EXE like you would on Windows and add it to Bottles with Add Shortcuts. Now we can run the setup and once the installation is complete, it automatically gets added to the programs. Same goes for installed games. You can then add these programs to your desktop, the inbuilt library or even to Steam, which is especially helpful on the Steam Deck. One thing that I should mention here is that if you installed Bottles as a flat pack, then you need to allow it to access Steam. This can be achieved with these two commands from their homepage and the terminal, or if you prefer a GUI, you can also use Flatseal. You might need to restart Steam if the shortcut doesn't show up right away. And that's essentially it, and you can now start to play your games on your PC or Steam Deck. But what if a game doesn't launch or runs with poor performance? Well, what you could try is to install a different runner in the bottle's preferences, most notably the latest version of Proton improved by a Glorious Aggro. After the installation, you can head into your bottle and change the runner in the settings. While we're here, we should also talk about the other options available. Here's the quick version. Latency Flex is used to reduce input latency of your keyboard, mouse or controller, similar to what Nvidia Reflex does. But if you want to play multiplayer games which utilize some sort of anti-cheat, then there is a possibility that it is being detected and you might get banned. The default is off and I recommend that you leave it that way. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or more commonly known as AMD FSR, is used for upscaling the image to a higher resolution. This setting, similar to the Steam Deck, does it globally, no matter if the application itself supports it or not. If you have a budget build that struggles to keep a high frame rate and the game itself doesn't support FSR, then this setting is for you. For the performance settings, it's best to leave F-Sync selected by default. However, I have seen a weird issue with the Ubisoft Connect launcher in the past, whereas it would get stuck on the updating screen when it was enabled. If you encounter a similar issue, then just choose E-Sync. It theoretically gives you slightly worse performance than F-Sync, though it rarely makes a difference. If you have a distro that automatically comes with Feral Game Mode installed, then you can toggle this setting right here, which applies some configuration changes to your system, making games run faster and more responsive. I haven't found any correlations that Game Mode messes with anti-cheat like Latency Flex does, so you also don't need to worry about that. If you can't enable it right away, then don't be sad. 
From my testing on my personal system, it made no difference whatsoever. I myself just used the default preset and it has worked great so far. Now some of you might be wondering why I don't use something more gaming oriented like Lutris. I mean some games feature special scripts there which gets them running. Well, there are two reasons. For once, Lutris broke three times on me in the past year, whereas I couldn't launch any Ubisoft games or the game launcher anymore. Something with the runner not being updated as fast or I don't know, maybe it also was my system's fault. But problems like this make Lutris a bit harder, as you have to manually install a different runner instead of being provided with them. The second reason is that I personally prefer its interface and how it operates, especially if we take regular applications into consideration as well. It just works really, really well. And I hope that with this video I could help you to install your favorite games on Linux. If I did, then please make sure to show it with a like and while you're down there, why don't you also subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.